tomorrow dawns and dusts. My name is Daybreak, and welcome to the first episode of Twilight Princess Thursdays. Now, this is going to be epic and amazing, and I am so excited for the series. I really, really, really am looking forward to try to give this one my all, like I try to give all my series my all, but let's just get right in this right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be playing, we're not playing on a Wii U pad controller, because pro controller, I mean. And we're going to go with, ah, uh, save file 1, save file 2, save file 3. Hmm. Let's go with save file 2. And let's change our name to I Let's change our name to I should have thought this beforehand. Um, what should we change our name to, guys? Hmm. Huh. Alright, guys, the hardest part of any RPG game. Let's name ourselves... will drop. Advanced players only. Maybe if I do, like, if a hard challenge, I'll do hero mode, but for now, I'm just gonna play the normal game, because I am not going through the hero mode. Just saying right now, I have played this game in the past. I remember loving this game so much. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of the spirits who have left our world. Oh, it looks so smooth! That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But talk enough of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Clovis. I don't know where Clovis. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yeah, what was it? Yes, it was a task set to me by the mayor. But would you go in my stead? Why? I mean, I'd be fine to. You have... Never been to Hyrule, right? No, sir, never been. In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle. And around it is Castletown, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule the rest of the world that God's created. You should look upon it with all with your own eyes. Will do, man. Exciting. It's getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. I like the... Like, the models aren't necessarily the best in the world. Like, you can obviously see that the models aren't, like, hugely improved. I enjoy the fact that, like, they kept the same, like, this, it's, it's all, it all feels the same to me. Oh my gosh, this game. So, if you guys don't know, uh, I, well, of course you wouldn't know. This is the first new Legend of Zelda game I played. I played Ocarina of Time. I played Majora's Mask when I was younger. I played Ocarina of Time played Majora's Mask. I played Wind Waker a while after it came out. Like, it was, like, after this game came out, I played Wind Waker. But this was the first Legend of Zelda game that I played it, and I loved it, and it was amazing. It was beautiful. It was an amazing game. Like, it's, there's a picture that shows Ocarina of Time, and it says how the road to Hyrule looked 
as a child. Uh, it showed you know, how the road, how Ocarina of Time looks, and it showed like the pixelated, like you can see the blocky textures, all that sort of stuff. How it looked when I was ten, and like for me, it was like how it looked when I was three, how it looked when I was four, how it looked when I was five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like how it kept getting as I got older. Like now I see, oh, this is very polygon, like blocky. Oh my gosh, link your face, man. What is wrong with it? It's like flat when he's a kid. Um, but like I, I noticed it when I got older. But like originally, I didn't notice that. Hey, hey Clovis, you in there? Yeah, man. Hey, what's up? Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. Sure, man. No problem. That may be a problem. Hey, where's Epona? I need to work on that guy's voice. That guy's voice, I'm looking at like the volume and uh it's way too loud. Turn down my volume. I think that's good. Alright. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright. Oh my gosh. A? Alright, so Z targeting. Z targeting is Z L. That's roll. Like I like that they kept everything looking like the same. It's so weird, like, playing this game. Hey. Come on and hurry up and bring a pono with you. You got it, man. Hey. Crud. I've been playing- what game have I been playing where it's inverted controls? Hey. I don't know. Oh, yep. Bam! Uh. Come on. Hey. He's like, smash against a wall, I think. Whoop. There we go. Ah. Oh. Okay. I don't- Items? Minimap? That didn't help at all. Okay. Wait. Collection save? Oh, yes! Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. The nostalgia is real. Uh, inverted vertical axis. Confirm. Alright, let's... There we go. Oh, my... It all... Everything feels weird. Okay. I'm gonna cut this out of the video probably anyway. Well, I'm not, actually. Alright, this is... I'm sorry, guys. This only took a second. I'm slower. Yeah, it looks grittier. That looks much grittier. There we go. That's how the game's supposed to look. The game's supposed to look, in my opinion, like, gritty. Uh, it's not supposed to look very polished-looking. Oh, you yeah. Muscle man. Boom! Alright. Now, uh, if no one has ever, if you've never seen this game before and you're like, Oh, this will be great, I've never played it before. Uh, it is, I'm looking, I'm very much looking forward to playing the game because I've, um, I love, it was, pr it, it's probably, uh, not my favorite Legend of Zelda game, but like, top, top, oh gosh, top, top five. Definitely like in the top five, top three. Like, um, my opinion, this game, Skyward Sword actually is one of my favorite games, which I know a lot of people, like, maybe like, why is Skyward Sword one of your favorite games? It, I really loved, like, the story of Skyward Sword. I love how it, like, set up for all the other Legend of Zelda games in the series. Like, I love that they were able to do that with the game. Now, the controls, I'll admit, were not good in any way, shape, or form, but I really could, uh, appreciate that it was a good game and they put a lot of effort into it and I do I do believe that they put not a lot of effort into it they just didn't have like the capabilities they still don't I, see like this is how you can tell like I like like this isn't this is an HD remake and I like that no not a remake this is a remaster remaster is uh, they don't have to change anything oh okay it's gonna offend some people oh hi Clovis I washed Epona for you That was nice of you. Thanks. I'm trying to remember her name. What's her name? Because I know... Is it something, like, important that I'm going to have to remember later on? I don't know. Speak. Epona works really hard, so I thought that she deserved a treat. 
Oh, but Clovis, would you do something for me? Can you use that piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Epona likes. I'm trying to, like, not make... I, I can't do, like, a female voice without offending <laughs> the entire internet. Do, 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 do. Nay. Hang on, there we go. No, nope, that's not what I'm about to do. Whoa. Are those spurs? I feel like they've always been spurs, but I just... Ah, crud. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Speak. It's such a nice melody. The opponent looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. But don't think don't make her do too much, okay? Will do. Thanks. I don't remember your name. You're A-OK. -okay. I feel bad, I don't remember her name. Uh, it actually makes me feel genuinely bad. Come on, Epona. We have to go help that guy. But, yeah, I really love this game. Oh my gosh! Okay. This looks beautiful. I... Oh my gosh, the capture probably doesn't even do this justice. This is, like, the green... Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's, like, so vibrant and so, like... Oh, it's beautiful. I'm. You're gonna hear me fanboying about this game a lot. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about. Let's talk to this family. Uh, wait. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Oh, if it isn't young Clovis, are you going to close down the ranch for today? I'll just close the shop myself. I'm sure you know all the mischievous monkeys that have been coming to the village lately. Those things worry me a bit. I'd better lock up right here, tight here. I couldn't stand to have any more goods stolen. Can't trust that girl for nothing. I've been doing right. Come on, Dad. You couldn't get a silly little monkey. Oh, uh, well, no, no, I can't. Oh, this is not babble. Oh, I didn't mean to keep you. All right, I'll have to work with you. Thank you. Oh, like you're gonna hear me fanboy so much about this game. Because, oh, that sign. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. I don't remember that sign. Where's the sign? Check. <gasps> this sign was not here. This sign was not here in the original game. Oh, I'm noticing details. Like, I've... You guys do not know how many times I've played through this game. Like, oh my gosh. I've only ever... Like, most games, I've only ever beaten once. Oh. Hi, Oh. Hi, Clovis. I'm making you a fishing rod, you know. All I have to do left is paint it. So get ready for fishing. Uh, yep, hang on, hang on, wait. How do I... Whoa. Whoa. What the heck? I can duck in this game? Could I do that in the original? Come on, can I talk to your mom, kid? I want to talk to you. Yep. Oh, no, 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 yep. I'm uh, free. Ah, oh, jeez. Jeez. No. 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 Yep, wait, yes. Yes, talk, talk. No! Hey! Ah, no, ah, great. Ah, great timing, Clovis. There was something I forgot to tell you. My son, Colin, is making you a fishing rod so you can play together. He should finish today, so we can come and die the house tomorrow, alright? That's not what I- nope, that's- that- that- that-, that I, Okay, stop, stop. Let's see out from my horse. I wanna see what you want to say. Ah, oh, crud. It's just giving her a rain, was it? Good evening, no, good evening, Clovis. This is a lovely sunset, is it not? It is kind of you to spend time with my husband. You know, it gives me time for myself. Oh, do you have to put the livestock to bed now? Yes, I do. So, if you'll need me. Now, I don't know, could you duck in the original game? Oh, no. Oh, it's you, Clovis. Looks like you're doing under to go and help five. No. Oh, wait, hang on. I can't do that voice. Looks like you're going to help... Looks like you're going to help Fado. Good job. He headed up to the ranch ahead of you. You go finish up your chores before the sun goes down. I don't know why I carry on every last syllable in a word. Dun, dun. Oh, 
it's beautiful. This game. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Clovis. These guys have been awful skittish lately. Don't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how about you and a pony herd them up quick into the barn real quick? Well, I said quick twice. I don't know why. We ain't got much time. So you think you'd do it for me? No. Yes. Come on, guys. We're good guys. We're, we're good guys. All right, we're GGs. Much obliged there, bud. Okay, go on and herd these little scamps in the barn for me. Now. Whoop. 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 Now, um, the problem with this minigame is, um, as you go on and as you herd them, at a certain point, they'll start hating you. For making them work. Go in, go in. Go in. Aw. It was so close. There are two more. Alright. You have to, um, herd them in, but at the same time you can't make them hate you, because if they hate you, they'll go all Red Bull and... Red Bull? Red Bull? They're Rams. They'll go all Red Goats, or Ram, or whatever they are, and, uh, they'll freak out at you. Like, they'll get angry, and they'll try to kill you. There you go. Well, they won't try to kill you. They'll knock you off the horse, and it's really annoying, and it's just all better if you don't deal with it. Cloves, Bona, much obliged to both y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So you just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but uh, how about today? Want to die? 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 All right, that was weird. Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get the fences set up for you. I I added a few words, but I don't know what I'm reading. Who? Sorry, that took so long. All right then, y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired of riding, just jump the gate up ahead and get back to the village. Okay, bud. Shut up. I'm trying to ride. Too bad. Get up. We die together. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. I really like this game, man. This game I've beaten so many times. There's a way you can get like the Master Sword really early on. Do you want to save? Yes. I'm saving on two, Clovis. Okay. I knew that already. You can't. I'm gonna have to change the brightness back to being normal, because, like, I'm looking at the capture and it looks very, like, dim. Which is how it's supposed to look, but, like, not. But, like, with these, I'm not doing the game justice with, uh. Uh. Hey, wake up, Clovis! It's morning already! Ah, oh, jeez. Kids, come on, man. I need sleep. I've been. I've been working. Alright, let me just. Options. Uh. Bob. Bob. Alright, there we go. Now, uh, like, it's like, I'm looking at the capture. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, oh crud, no. How do I? Oh, yes. Alright, how do I? Whoa. Oh, okay, I have the minimap. How do I? Like, how do I? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. We have a pitchfork. Now, down here, crud, down here is a, um, is a chest. You won't be able to see it, but directly in front of me, there's a chest. Like, um, pull up map. Oh, crud. Wait, oh, yeah, if you look at the map in the bottom corner. Yeah, you can pull up the map in the bottom corner. Like, right here is a chest. Like, you'll notice I can't walk forward anymore. There's a chest right there. But, yeah. I'm gonna keep the mini-map in the bottom corner, because I really like having it there. It helps, you know? I know, I need, I need all the help I can get. Now, you may, you guys may notice that, like, these episodes are gonna be a tad longer than my typical episodes. That's because, um, I don't want to have, uh, this series be, I don't want to have, like, this series be 300 parts. I was just trying something. I was seeing if the amiibo worked. Yeah, the amiibo came from this game. I'm, I love it. Uh, when I put it to the amiibo tap bit thing, I got um, Mario Super Mario 3, which is the one that uh, it takes place during on like a play on a stage. Excuse me. Oh, Clovis, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store now. A slingshot. I wonder how powerful it is. Oh, 
guess I need I must try it. Tallow, if you and Mallow Tallow no Taylor, Tallow, if you and Mallow want so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth, can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you want it, save your analysis or something. But her that's is terrible. I wish I was born into a rich family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. <sighs> darn kids, get off my lawn. You darn kids, get off my lawn. Yeah, you're chucking the ball. Alright, so we got a... Colin, what are you doing here? Get my horse. Hi Clovis, I finished paying the fishing rod I was making. I thought I'd give it to you this first thing this morning, but my dad said, wait until Clovis comes and gets it. That's why I didn't bring it to you. Actually, he said it more like, wait till Clovis comes and gets it. Because, I don't know, but dad's out today, so would you ask my mom about it? I think she's by the river. Alright, I am. You have the day off from work, don't you, Clovis? You have to give Paul a day off, too, poor girl. Gosh darn, I didn't actually mean... <laughs> Three times. Yes, I got another rupee. I have five rupees, and I think it's like, what, 15? Question mark? Four? Because I can get the slingshot, and then I can shoot the bee's nest up there. The bee's nest. The bee's nest. Not the bees! <laughs> Anything but that! Anything but the bees! Uh, I've never seen that Nick Cage movie, but it's some gif or a meme or whatever it's called. Actually, I don't know what that is. It's a joke. Yeah, Clove. Yo! Yo, Clovis, yo, look up here! I wanna talk to you! Press A while holding CL so we can chat! Oh. Hey! There you go! Over here! Yeah, your voice carries well as usual! Thanks, man. Maybe you can teach my dykes that you gotta press A while ZL targeting to talk to people from a distance! They don't get it! So listen, why don't you climb up those vines, Claire Clovis? Well, first I gotta smash, I gotta smashing pumpkins. Some smashing pumpkins, man. Eh. Yes. I feel like my headset's slipping off my head. Hang on a second, guys. Sorry about that. I feel like my mic was slipping off my head. That was not good. I need I need a different mic. I don't need a headset. I need like a blue Yeti or a blue snowball or one of them. One of them with something blue. Hey. Yo, don't waste food. <laughs> I got rupees out of it, man. All right. So if you guys don't know, um, the rule in Legend of Zelda: Thou shalt not mess with thine chickens. You don't mess with the chickens in any Legend of Zelda game ever. You last thing you ever do is mess with the chickens because they will mess you up. Well, so why did I just mess with the chicken? Because I want it to mess me up. I want to. I want to take it, bro. I can take it. Yo, there you are. Check it out. You know Sarah at the general store. Well, isn't that a cat over there? He's been just sitting there next to my house having a stamming contest with the creek. You don't suppose you want to kind of catch a fish, do you? Ha! <laughs> Cat can't catch no fish, and I can't do no grandma, right? Anyway, that's not what I was meaning to tell you about. A boot. That's not what I was meaning to tell you about, boot. I want you to take a look at something. See that tall grass growing there over the edge of that rock? Haven't I seen you whistling that stuff? Figured it was pretty rare to see it growing in a place like that, so I thought I'd let you know. I bet you could just hop across this with that little quick tilt L forward and all that jazz, couldn't you? Whoosh. Yeah, whooshy. Now this is a completely different one. This one's, um, if you'll notice, it's shaped like a bird, and it's a uh, calling a bird. And you'll notice the other one is shaped like a horseshoe, and it allows you to call Epona. Yeah, guys. Pretty, pretty awesome. Now, yeah, eventually you'll be able to skip that, and I will, but I just want to show you guys, because that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's attack the cat. Oh. Oh no. I'm aiming with the gamepad. <laughs> I hit the cat and it actually worked. That's amazing. Alright. Hmm. 
No, I... I can also do this instead of the slingshot. Boom! And drop. Now that allows me when I get a bottle to get some uh, honey for the bottle. And it allows me when I get... Um, it allows me to get rupees that are on top of there, like uh, some blue rupees, some red rupees. No, just a blue rupee, uh, a, green and a green rupee, and I think maybe a red rupee. I think, yeah, there's a blue one over there. I'm gonna have this hawk grab it. I like, like, the hawk's look, too. Gosh, this is weird. I'm aiming with this controller. Gosh. Ugh. Yeah, no, okay. This is gonna be... I I like that they try to use the mechanics from the touchpad, but, like, you can't, like, let me know about that. So I'm holding it differently. Like, I get with the pro controller... That gate was not there originally. That uh, gate that is right in the um, in the shot there where the monkey is holding the basket, holding the basket. That uh, that gate was not there originally. So I'm actually I'm actually impressed that they did that. All right, now this is easier. I'm holding the gamepad up. And you'll notice like there's a little thing over there that you can get the. Uh, you can get, you could get. Alright. Come on. Yeah! I, yeah, I played this game so many times that. Oh, no. I don't remember how her voice is cried. Oh, my Clovis. Oh, my Clovis. I've been looking for that cradle. I made it when my first child was born, and I have cherished it all these years. Did you know all this somehow? Did you find it and bring it back to me on purpose? My thanks to you. That reminds me. There's something I'm supposed to give you. You need to carry that cradle back to the house with me. Fine. Go in your house without you, though. Like, you can actually do this. Like, look. Like, I love that they do that. My thanks to you, Clovis. Yes, I'd nearly forgotten I was supposed to give you this. All right, here you go. Da 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 da! A fishing rod, simple rod with a fishing bobber. No, a simple fishing rod with a bobber. I don't simple fish. I don't. I'm my words. I words. Set it to Y, X, or R in the item screen to use it. Face the water and press the cast. Blah 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 blah. You can blah blah cast that bait, but you get better fish. It's a little un it's a little unpolished. My son Colin gave it to him in the instruction for his father. You can use it as you like. Alright. So I'm gonna collection. No, that's not what you do. Items. Oh, it's on the little it's on the screen down here. Alright. So I can assign it to Y X or Y X. I think Y, because it's something. There's water down here. What? Alright. I love how big this is. Like, look at this rod, man. Look how big this fishing rod is. Oh, wait, no. I know where to go. So, you go over here. And remember how they said, like, he made the comment about the fish, the cat trying to catch the fish? Anyway, guys, honestly, uh, this is the end of the video. I'm gonna end this part right here. So thank you all for watching. Doing some dusks, and I will see you all. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me... Uh, I'm gonna ask you this question. Have you ever played a Legend of Zelda game? And if so, what game? Anyway, guys and girls, I will see you all on the horizon. Bye, guys.